Hey Lennies and Bunny Lovers, welcome back to the channel. Now we all make mistakes as bunny parents, that is just a given and especially in the beginning stages when we're still navigating bunnyhood and figuring out, you know, what are bunnies like and don't like, etc. But I'm here to help you speed up the process and even if you have had your bunny for a long time, you will find this video useful. You will always find Len and the Bunnies videos useful, I promise. So with that said, here are five things you should avoid if you have a pet bunny. Please subscribe, smash the like button, you guys know the drill. Give us a little comment and let's hop right into this video. Number one, predators. People really underestimate this, okay? And and listen, I've, I've been there. You know, you, you see a cute puppy or your neighbor has a cute kitty, your friend, you know, wants to bring over the dog to meet your bunny. They think it'll be cute and fun to, you know, get a video of it or something. Listen, I, it's not worth the risk, first of all. Um, the stuff that you see on TikTok and Instagram that goes viral of bunnies and puppies getting along and whatnot, there's context behind that, okay? You, sometimes, sometimes if, if a bunny and a puppy, they grow up together from birth to adulthood, they can get along swimmingly, but that is the exception. And also, I'm sure that, you know, they're under extreme supervision for these videos, or at least I hope so. Having said that, it does not mean it's a good idea to introduce your rabbit to a dog or any predator. And sometimes people will go to other extremes like, you know, introducing their bunnies to outside wild animals that are predatory. Remember that bunnies are prey. That is the bottom line. They are at the bottom of the food chain and so you just never know if that predator is going to be triggered by something. There are a lot of dogs, especially. It's not that they're malicious and they're out to kill your bunny. You know, they obviously don't have the same logic we do and they just see a fluffy thing that's breathing, that's hopping around, that looks like a toy and they, and they want to chase after it or they want to, you know, grab it and play with it and play really, really rough and that's gonna be a death sentence for your bunny. Whether that manifests itself as a heart attack because your bunny can, you know, get really scared and, and die of a heart attack or the dog can really injure your rabbit. And again, are there cats, are there dogs who just don't give a flying F that your bunny is in the same room? You know, maybe they're like really, really old and they're, retired from chasing after prey and they're like on their deathbed and they just don't care okay fine but like it's it's just it's not worth these little exceptions put your bunny's life first and put yourself in their shoes number two leaving your rabbit alone for too long Okay, what constitutes too long? This is gonna be a little bit arbitrary, but probably, you know, more than half a day, right? So anything more than like approximately 12 hours is gonna be too long. Bunnies are not like cats. You can't just leave some food out for the weekend and, and go camping, you know, for a couple days. Bunnies need to be constantly monitored. They need to be constantly fed. They need their hay constantly refilled, their water bowls refilled, and they are very codependent, okay? They're not as independent as dogs, as cats. And the reason I kind of put about 12 hours on it is because if you're gone for the day at work or whatever, I don't know, seven to eight hours, your, your rabbit is likely sleeping during the day and that's okay. But during their active hours, you know, they need your full attention. But furthermore, I also want to highlight the separation anxiety and the loneliness that your rabbit would feel being left alone for more than a day or half a day. Rabbits are social animals and they need that interaction from another living being, whether it's you, whether it's another bunny partner, and you know, if they're just sitting around by themselves for 12 plus hours, they're gonna get depressed, they're gonna wonder where you are, they're gonna be confused, and they're gonna miss you. 
Okay, number three, we have overfeeding pellets. This one's so easy to do and <laughs> You know, I, I definitely fell into that trap in the beginning with Lennon, and it's okay as babies, you know, you gotta remember every stage of life is different, and the dietary plan changes over time depending on how old your rabbit is, etc. You know, I'm gonna say there's, there's kind of two extremes to the spectrum, and then there's the middle ground. You know, on one hand, if you've got a baby bunny and they're still growing, you know, about younger than six months, they're gonna need those unlimited alfalfa pellets. And on the other hand, if your rabbit is old and they're losing weight by the day and they need more mass and they need to gain weight, then, you know, per your vet's instructions, you're gonna feed more and more pellets. If you were to eat like rice all day and nothing else, um, that would not be nutritious at all. And so same goes for pellets. Usually it's about a quarter cup per five pound rabbit approximately. And that can vary again, depending on age, health, condition, breed, etc. So please look into that, discuss it with your vet and make sure you're giving your rabbit the correct amount. Okay, number four, bringing other rabbits into your rabbit's territory. This one I feel is not talked about enough. I, now, I don't mind unbonded bunnies meeting. Lennon has a lot of Instagram friends and stuff, and we've had play dates and all that, but we do it in a neutral territory and it's highly supervised, and I don't recommend it unless you're very experienced. And the reason being is because rabbits just, they don't really like each other. I'll just be completely frank. I mean, I kind of wish we humans could be as blunt as they were with, you know, their dislike toward their own species, whether it has anything to do with the bunny's attitude, their scent, you know, something that they're giving off that is unpleasant to the other rabbit. Maybe it's some kind of aggression or they feel threatened in some way. They, they will get in a very, very vicious fight, okay? It's not gonna be pretty. They can kill each other. They can tear each other's eyes out. They can draw blood. It's risky, don't do it. If you're gonna do it, do it in a neutral territory. And just remember that you can't predict animal behavior. You know, you never know when a bunny is gonna lash out on another bunny. And even in a neutral territory, you're not 100% safe. And if you are planning to bond your bunny to another bunny, just remember that there is a specific process for that. And I know a lot of rabbit rescues and shelters will take on that task for you if you're gonna adopt. Okay, guys, and number five, skimping on the hay. Skimping on the hay is such a big infraction that it could potentially kill them. Rabbits need unlimited hay, and I stress this in every single video because the, the rabbit diet is majority fiber, and hay it contains all the fiber that they need. It helps them mobilize their gut, it pushes things through, it lets them go to the bathroom. That's why you put the hay in the litter box. You know, I know sometimes, you know money's tight and you're like oh if i just like give them a little bit sprinkle a little bit it'll be okay and i'll go buy some more tomorrow it's not worth the risk guys give them all the hay you don't want them going into gi stasis that gut you don't want it to stop moving it's got to keep moving so please don't skimp on the hay and honestly guys hay's not that expensive that's probably one of the less expensive necessities of a rabbit is hay. If, especially if you're getting it from like a feed store, a local feed store, a farm, a barn or something. I can understand like if you order it online or you buy it at the store, it's it can be costly, but there are ways to get hay very cheaply. And just remember it's dried grass. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for five things you should avoid with your bunny. All right, let me know in the comments below what else you should avoid and what you think of these five talking points that I brought up. We love you deeply and we'll see you all soon. Bye.